The airline is one industry that's taken an enormous hit. But as 41 Action reporter Errol Rothfield shows us, there's some work being done at KCI to help businesses take off. At Kansas City International Airport, the skies are much quieter. Even though the runway appears busier, that's because most of these planes are not going anywhere. And we are providing uh, short-term parking support for many of our airline partners for the aircraft that we see parked uh, kind of on the taxiways and all over the runways. Aviation Technical Services is not normally in the business of storing planes. It maintains them to keep them flying. When we look in, in terms of the check maintenance that we're doing, we're down. Uh, the We are surviving to some degree on the parked aircraft. Which simply can't be dusted back into action. A lot goes into servicing these airplanes from the seats inside to the wings on the outside. First thing is to protect the aircraft. There are there, there are systems and sensors on the aircraft that need to be covered and protected. From inlets to tires, flight controls have to be checked. Engines run and aircraft's powered up. And each plane still carries gas to keep it from rocking in the wind. Anything mechanical that's designed to operate and move is designed to operate and move and not to sit. And that's really the big driver behind the, why we have to provide the care and feeding to these aircraft that are parked here. The good news is it's helping business. Since travel has slowed, airlines have grounded flights, meaning the need for heavy maintenance is low. The numbers have dropped, uh, no question. ATS has laid off hundreds of people, but the company is looking towards the future, continuing to maintain these planes, applying for federal help along with the airlines it serves, so that when business takes off, it will be back to normal again. To ensure that everything's still in working order so that when we go to wake that airplane up is the industry term that it's basically ready to go fly. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.